Okay, so when when we um, got together to talk about Sensei and the exhibition, I was already started to work on the idea of using the Popocatépetl as a theme, because you know I'm from Mexico City and the volcano has been had been active during those past weeks, very very active, and it had caught my attention. So it was something that I was thinking about. So as we started to talk about the project itself it made sense for me to bring in that subject matter and interpret it and do something site-specific, which is usually the way I work, and do something for the gallery itself. Well, one of the formats that I have worked with a lot in the past is doing vertical pieces that go from the floor to the ceiling. I've done several pieces using that same format, and I've also done, in the past, work with vinyl, taking advantage of the two-dimensionality of the material and utilizing the space of the gallery itself to make it three-dimensional. And through conversations with Remy and, you know, through, throughout my thought process, I decided that it made sense for me to use that format and material. And I was also really interested in doing something site-specific that would integrate into the space. And, you know, I connected all of those elements, thinking about the popo, which is, you know, subject matter that I, that I had had in mind for a while because of the fact that it's, the volcano has been very active in the last months, more than, more, more than it had been previously. So I decided to combine all of these thoughts into one idea and do something that was kind of a representation, not a literal representation of the Popocatépetl in action, in activity, but something that was kind of an abstraction of that. Yes, it's an image of the Popocatépetl in action, but it's also a piece, I see it, thinking about the, the the title of the exhibition, Displacement, thinking about how I'm bringing in a section of this space, of this mountain, and bringing it into the gallery, utilizing the corner of the gallery to create a space and to create kind of that same feeling of activity and, and displacement at the same time. Well, I thought it was, it, it's interesting the fact that the Popocatépetl has been very active in the last few months or a few weeks. And thinking about how the last time that the Popo was very active, as much as it is now, was in 1994, which is when the Zapatistas, you know, eh, stood up. And I think that Mexico is going through a, a moment right now that is like a Candent, candente, I don't know how to say that in English, but like a moment of a, a, where activity, where something is happening. So I, I thought it would be interesting to use that analogy. And also, you know, thinking of person, in personal terms about my, the place where I am right now in my life, I feel that this piece represents a lot of what I'm going through at the moment. It's the kind of like a very clean and um, like the silhouette and the graphic representation, you know, neatly rep represented, clean, blah, 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 but of something that is inside in the interior of the volcano, there's something happening that is kind of about to burst or do something. And, you know, there's different layers of what's going on there. I don't I don't mean it, it, I don't mean it to be like a literal piece. I want it to be more of a symbolic piece of myself and of, of my country.